Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics, I'm Nick, and today we're going to talk about that shipping box I made. So last week or the week before, I made this crazy foam shipper box and everybody kind of gave me grief in the comments about it. Some people said, oh, it was a good idea. Some people said it was overkill. I agree. There was a lot of overkill to it. There was, you know, I thought it was a pretty good idea. Well, anyways, this is what uh, James ended up getting to his house. So I shipped it up, double boxed it, and this is what it looked like when it showed up. So naturally, he sends me an Instagram post and it's like 4.30 on a Monday. I haven't slept much at that point because, well, my kid was up all the night before, so I'm already just all over the place and I'm just super freaked out. I'm like, great. I spent all this extra time and effort to try to come up with this really nice shipping container, custom shipping box, whatever you wanna call it, just to make sure that this $1,600 book basically shows up and is well protected. And this is the world telling me I should have just bubble wrapped it, put it in a medium flat rate box and just shipped it, right? Now, thankfully I did put $1,500 shipping uh, insurance on it. However, I started talking to some people and they're like, well, I've had three or four claims denied, so good luck with that. And anyway, so I'm responding back, responding back, responding back. And you know, I'm like, hey, just, just open it up, please, you know, because originally he was gonna open, do a video for us and, and see get his response to it all. And I'm like, no, just please go ahead, rip it open. So we both can kind of calm down a little bit. But he had two boxes, one with the Avengers 4 in it and another with the uh, Super Chat giveaway he won uh, from our comic book Babylon every Saturday night. And I'm like, dude, just open it up. So he opens it up and I did double box it. And you can see the, the inside of both boxes, the corners were just smashed in and he opens it up and he's like dude the foam saved it all right i got the biggest book i've ever bought come in today and the package came in like this this was bent in literally like this so i open it up get to the second package and thinking okay it should be okay nope look second package beat in the only saving grace the thing that saved this slab from being absolutely destroyed is foam I bought this from Two Brothers Comics, and they had the idea of putting your very expensive slab in foam. And holy crap, it works. This thing definitely went through the ringer and saved the day here. So, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Especially for the foam to save this big book. Whew. Right. The comic book was in perfect condition. No scratches, no issues. And I'm just, oh, I was so thankful. So... I'm doing this video because a lot of people I actually had one comment said I'd be pretty mad if it showed up and originally James was like don't ship me that you know but he didn't know uh, that I was making it for his Avengers 4 and thankfully man it worked out and all this goes to say just spend a little bit of extra time uh, you don't have to make something crazy like I did but just that little bit of extra time could certainly save it because the one box with the 15 or $1,600 comic book showed up just destroyed and then the box with the super chat giveaway he won perfectly fine shipped the same day, dropped off the same location, everything. But the one that needed to arrive safely was messed up. So uh, this was just more of a follow up to that. I'm just, I can't even tell you guys how nervous I was for this. And for it to show up and just be smashed like that, it just, in my gut, I was like, man, this is what I get for trying something new and interesting. But thankfully it, it saved the day. So guys, what do you think? Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know, but it did work and that's all that matters. But you guys are the best part of Two Brothers Comics and as always, collect your way.